In the tissue culture lab at the Salk Institute, they're growing organs made of brain cells. The organs are visible to the naked eye, and when they're done, they will be about five millimeters across. When combined with other cell constructions, they will become like a tiny human brain. Salk professor Rusty Gage says they're called organoids. The interesting thing is I'm just talking about the neural part of it, or the brain part of it. There are liver organoids, there are gut organoids, there are organoids of almost every organ of the body. Organoid creation at Salk begins with a skin cell that's turned into a pluripotent stem cell. Throw a few molecular switches and it becomes a brain cell or any other cell in the body. Mayan Wong is a neuroscience postdoc at Salk Institute, and she was the first author of a paper about the Salk brain research. She says studying organoids is a great first step in life science research. Oh, first of all, we can grow them and expand a lot of organoids for a lot of screening and studies in vitro so we can identify a molecular pathway and then we can go back to the in vivo animal models to test this so that we can we can uh, we can already have a theory before we go into animals to do these studies. The research paper published in one of the Nature journals shows how the Salk lab devised a way to create a very common brain cell called astrocytes. They are crucial to the work of neurons, and they were poorly represented in earlier brain organoids. The study further shows how some astrocytes were promoting brain inflammation. Wong says that's involved in lots of well-known diseases. Uh, for example, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, as well as ALS. So these are all the uh, possible, like these are all the neurological diseases that we can study using this model. As the use of organoids becomes more common, Rusty Gage says their clinical use could mean creating an organoid to serve an individual patient. It sort of epitomizes what people are calling personalized medicine. So we have your cells here, and they can be tested with treatments and understand the mechanism, but it's of your cells, not of a model system or of an animal system. Could human organoids replace test animals in the lab? Maybe not. There is value to using an actual living creature, but Gage says it is a subject of discussion. This is actually a debate that's being had right now in the FDA, uh, uh, the Federal Drug Administration. So how, how much work do we need to do in animals and how much can we do in, in human tissues alone? He adds it's a debate that has not yet been settled. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.